Welcome to Market Movers. I'm Jim Uriel with Scott Martin. Hi, Jim. Scott, we have my favorite day of the month, NFP Friday. We saw uh, the ADP number come out on Wednesday. It was relatively blockbuster. Do you think the non-farm number follows suit? I do, but Jim, does it really matter at this point? Because the market knows two things. One, good data is going to be good data, and that's what we're kind of expecting and used to. But let's just say we get, let's use a technical term, a stinker of a number. Let's say it's 150K added or something like that. It knows that a few more numbers like that, and the Fed is coming back with more rate cuts. Okay, now we have this pandemic we've talked about for two weeks now. Our, is, and the market doesn't seem to care. Is the market making a mistake, and could that potential black swan be out there? Maybe, yeah. I mean, I think we've seen a little bit of the black swan-ish with the coronavirus. I mean, if the market seems to care on Fridays, not so much care on Tuesdays, then care again on Thursday. It's kind of an interesting setup with respect to there's still a lot of data coming in on the virus, but the market's volatility is such to where I believe it's going to increase over the next, say, coming days and weeks as more information comes in. Before we dive into our trade discussion, I'd like to point out that these trades are examples, not recommendations or advice. When we price these out, the March S&P was trading about 33.27. Scott. Yeah, Jim, a lot of volatility out there. When there's volatility like this as a trader, I just like to look around, say, the scope of the arena and see where puts and calls are trading to kind of get an idea of what are people paying for? What are traders paying up or paying little for when it comes to exposure, both on the bullish or bearish side? And so today, Jim, I found something as far as an exposure that I think might be interesting to put on. And specifically, Jim, looking at buying the week two Wednesday, February 12th, 3250, 3225 put spread. This costs a measly 3.25 ticks. It expires on February 12th. It puts very, very cheap out there right now. Just as a way I'm hedging a little bit of my long exposure, especially as we bounce this week. And just the fact that, again, puts to me are just rightly priced for a little bit of that kind of protection when it comes to seeing things tick up volatility-wise going forward. I like everything about this trade. We've had a huge run up the last couple days. We're coming close to the 3340-ish level in the S&Ps, which is the highs from before. I think we're going to need some new information to go above those. So I'm for it. I'm for the risk reward and I'm for the direction. I'm looking at it the exact same way. I'm using the uh, S&P micros and selling at 3335, a couple ticks above where we are now as an entry point, with a target of 32.85, a little bit above where your top strike is, and a stop placed at 33.65. Because I think if we go above 33.40, typical and we fashion, follow through, through a little it. bit, mm -hmm. I think we could blow through and be done with it. That trade risks 150 to make a potential 250 thoughts. Yeah, good. Um, and, and the one thing I will tell you that's interesting, I think, as far as the the market action so far, is that there's two things that that cheap puts tell me. One is that the market's not going to get down there because nobody believes it will and it's not going to happen. Or two, that if we do have that vicious quick sell-off that we saw similar to say Friday of last week, this thing will blow right down. So that's another reason to kind of, in my opinion, try to pick off some of those cheaper puts that are down there. And if they go down towards that direction and you're comfortable with that move, just take them off. Right, last two Fridays in a row, we put in a Friday risk premium because of headline risk over the weekend. Time. I like that a lot. Thanks for joining us on Market Movers. I'm Jim Urio, where we are helping to make you a better trader.